Hi everybody, welcome to Line of the Week number 188, Motive Development Using Melodic Rhythms. It's time again to take a rhythm, add notes to it, and then improvise with it over tunes. This form of improvisation is called Motive Development. This week's line includes three specific Motive Development tools, Variation, Extension, and Retrograde. Variation means same melody, different rhythm, meaning rhythmic variation or same rhythm, different melody, called melodic variation. Extension means adding notes immediately before or after a motif or a motif fragment, and retrograde means simply playing the notes backwards, meaning in reverse order. Before I get to the line of the week, and so we're all on the same page, here are the chords to the progression. The chords are F7, B flat 7, F7 for two measures, B flat 7 for two measures, F7 for two measures, G minor 7, C7, F7, D7, G minor 7, C7, resolving to F7. So this week's line is one chorus over at blues in F. Here are the chord scales I'm using for this week's line. The chords are over the F7, C melodic minor or F blues, F melodic minor, C melodic minor for two measures, F melodic minor for two measures, C melodic minor, G major, E flat melodic minor, F major, D flat melodic minor, C melodic minor, E flat melodic minor, F major, D flat melodic minor, resolving to C melodic minor over the F7. Here's a melodic rhythm I'm using this week. You can use this rhythm yourself to create your own motif and develop it in your own way, in your own music. You can assign notes to your melodic rhythm to create a simple shape that you can visualize on the fretboard. Ideally, the shape should be easy to play, easy to remember, and sound good to you. Here's the melodic shape I came up with this week. Here's the line of the week with Guitar Pro backing I use to make sure I'm getting the notes and the rhythm accurate. Let's look specifically at the line of the week. In measure one, there's the original motif, meaning the melodic rhythm with notes that fit the harmony. Measure two contains a melodic variation of the original motif, same melodic curve and melodic rhythm, but different notes to fit the harmony. Measure three contains another melodic variation of the original motif. Measure 4 contains a quarter note extension of the melodic variation found in measure 3. Measure 5 contains an extension leading up to a fragment of the original motive found in measure 6. Measure 7 contains the retrograde of the original motive. That is to say, I'm playing the same rhythm as the original motive, but with the notes played backwards. It sounds more complicated than it is. It's actually easy to play the melodic shape backwards and forwards. Measure 8 contains rest. Measure 9 contains a variation of the original motif. Measure 10 contains a variation of the original motif. Measure 11 contains a variation of the original motif, followed by an extension of eighth notes found in measures 12 and 13 to end the line. In conclusion, let me quickly shift gears. An explanation of my fingerstyle technique is available on my store page at stuartjazz.com. All my major, pentatonic, melodic minor, and diminished shapes are included in my instructional video and accompanying PDF files. The PDF files contain regular notation, tab, left hand fingering, right hand fingering, hammer-ons, and pull-offs. The video and the PDF files are only $10. Your purchase helps support the channel. 
So that's all for this week. Take the melodic rhythm and see what you can do with it in your own music. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next week.